Hello, how are you doing? I'm Ibrahim Orokwe by name. Yes, my planet farms FCT Abuja, Nigeria. Most of the times people ask what is my planet all about. My planet is a group of company that is into various kind of um, business system. And here today we are in our farm. You could see um, we are picking our eggs. It's interesting to pick eggs and make money from eggs, but it goes beyond just picking eggs, it goes beyond having a poultry farm where you can pick eggs and um, do so many things. One thing about poultry, it goes beyond um, having money to say I want to have a poultry farm or I really want to do a poultry or run a poultry business. There are key things you need to understand when setting up your poultry business. Number one is location. Have a good location for your poultry business. Go a long way to understand how it will work for you. And after getting your location, ensure your beds, like you see our beds now, they are on, we kept them on battery cage. Battery cage remain one of the best way to preserve and um, give your beds good healthy system from time to time because in this battery cage, they, are no, they cannot transmit disease because of the battery cage. Yeah. So what we did in our own system here to make it more effective and efficient is we name our battery cage by numbers because in poultry, in poultry, data collection is very key. You must be able to first understand the data you generate from your poultry farms. Like what we did in our own, come let me show you. Like what we did in our poultry, in our farm here is this. We labeled our, our cages, A1, B, C, E, F, G, H, down there. So let me show you something again. Here is A. This is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. So what we did is that because these bears are into compartments. So you can be able to, from time to time, determine which bed is not producing very well. So that is that for your battery cage to enable you to do that. And ensure one other thing to do is you need to have an infective water system so that they don't get dehydrated at time. These bears, they eat and drink and they drink a lot of water. So your water system must be very, very infective if you really do want to have it. And also feeding is very key. Like here now, you can see this is the food we give to them. They consume minimum three bags of this uh, feed, three bags of this feed every day. Why? Because it's like, um, it's garbage in, garbage out. It's what you give to them, they'll give back to you. Most people tell you to economize your food, don't give them that. Come, let me show you something here now. Like, now this is a feeding process we are doing right now. You can see what we do. Once you give them this feed, you see then they tend to want to get it. So you can see the, this is what you do here. You must ensure you feed them very well. These are my team members, Shedrag by name, and this is Siva by name. They are doing the feeding aspect this time around. So let me show you, and one other thing you need to do, but ensure you have a good water system in your farm. It's very important because you don't need, you're supposed to have, you need to have a good water system in your farm. It's very key because if not, the bed will be dehydrated. And let me show you something again. Like here now, you can see these eggs, to make them more like this, they need a lot of calcium. Calcium is very important when you are giving these beds feed from time to time. Come, let me show you. So, what you must understand is this. Like here. Come, let me show you something. Come around here. Oh, shit. This is the battery cage. This is where we put them. You could see what makes here okay is that this is how the cage is. You, your uh, farm must be free from odor. The moment you ha your farm has odor, it's bad. It's not good for your beds. It's not good for your staffs. So you must ensure, see something here now. Like here now, you could see some, like, from time to time you can be able to monitor how their um, excreta is. Once you see anything that is watery of this type, you need to deworm them. In most cases, you must ensure you deworm your bed. Then this is an IG feeds. So when it's like this, meaning, they are okay but when you see something like 
um, all this wet one it shows that you need to watch out for in case if there's anything that is not going well and also you can see beneath here is very clean this is where everything pour out from I can stay here it does not smell why because this sun dust that we use here we change it every four four days three days four days we normally change this sun dust why because if you don't change this thing on time it gets soaked with water and the feces or excreta they pour out and the next thing it affects your bed the head of your head bed productivity so this um, for our farm today and you can see for the other side the one most for are after is after the egg picking they after let the bed start laying let me get my money back but you must put some things in place it's very important putting some things in place when it comes to when it comes to uh, poultry farming is very okay for you to do like here you could see my team member is picking uh, their eggs here this is another rule of this is another rule of them picking so these are one of the major things you need to understand when you are starting your poultry business data is very important your sales day book is very important how much are you selling a day you must be intentional enough to understand your sales day book your purchasing day book what are those items you are purchasing like giving them vaccination giving them medicine from time to time you need to record them that if you have any debt write it down what are the cost of debt some of these bed died when they are trying to lay so far in our farm this month we've lost four beds and each bed here worth 1850 naira. one bed here is what we call but at the point of lay so let me come around apart from picking egg as if you are picking money from the street or from the floor or from the tree it's very important that you understand that it's not just about the egg part of it but it's about giving value and nutrition to everything so this is for our farm here today and one other thing i would love to show you quickly is that ensure you have an effective management system on ground like here now these are our books for record this is our production book for our eggs we can yeah we are able to tell how many eggs how many um, bears we have in this cage we name it see something here we have wing two this wing two we have wing one wing two in each wing we have a b c d e f down which enable them will enable us get accurate data from time to time then here we do something again here this is the egg we picked for today and we are still picking like we have how many crates here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and you can see they are still picking more eggs now this is the benefit of you feeding your birds very well feed them very well give them good hygiene and one good thing we did in our farm here is this for accurate data um, processing we have this blue um, crate this blue crate is used only like you see my team member is dropping more of the eggs here so this blue this blue crate is used for um, picking the eggs from time to time so that to enable have good record that is for this blue um, no sorry purple crate i mean to say then why here we have these crates in our internal management system this yellow crate is used for sales so when we bring this crate out we know that it's for sales only then why this green crate is used for storage because the production is a purple crate which is used for picking the egg the green ones are used for storage why this yellow one are used for sales why because in most cases you never can tell the farms that all the buyers are taking their crates to so it's dangerous to your farm dangerous to your beds to uh, allow your buyers bring in crates into your farm why we always advise or advise people during our training session don't allow buyers bring in train and um, crates into your farms because these beds are highly um, sensitive to diseases they are highly sensitive to infection so that is why in our farm that when you come in we already have you call you want to buy egg how many are you getting we sell minimum of 20 we don't sell less than 20 we prepare it for you in this yellow crate and when you come we transfer it to you and wash this immediately because this is how because they say prevention is better than cure 
So for this, this is what we do in Smart Planet Farms for our layers. Subsequent videos, we're talking, we're taking you on our um, boilers. We have boilers farm, we have noelas, we have um, turkey also. So thank you very much. If you want to be part of what we do, visit our website www.smartplanetfarms.com www.smartplanetfarms.com or www.smartplanetf.com So I applaud you to be part of what we do. Come around if you want trainings. We have training program for you. We can teach you how to manage your farm. We can teach you how to produce your feed. Because here in Smart Planet, before now we used to buy feed on a very high uh, um, price, which is market uh, price. But we discovered that producing your feed is way, 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 way more better and economical than what you can think. Because before now, you could see our eggs, how the eggs look like now. The calcium we put in this egg goes a long way to play in them. And also, solar system, light is very important. You can see, we have an infective light system here, which we use solar for. Because in most cases, this bed, because in most cases, this bed needs light to eat at night. And you can't keep buying, uh, um, what well, I call it, um, light or this. So solar is one of the fastest way to power this kind of system. But if you have your own electricity in your own farm, good and fine. But in all you do, ensure you cut costs, but give quality. It's very important. So thank you very much. Remember to visit our website again, www.smartpanetf.com for more details. So have a nice day. Bye. Hi, hi, good morning. It's been a while. You're welcome to my YouTube channel at Abraham Rukwe. Now, in this YouTube channel, I teach business, I teach poetry, I teach um, everything that has to do with creating value with your value proposition. I'm a business consultant. You're welcome. Today, we're looking at poetry management, poetry farm management. Anywhere you put it, it's the same thing. So, um, in this YouTube channel, you those of you that have subscribed, Thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification, the notification button for, to enable you get um, alert. <laughs> no, not create alert. The notification for new uh, videos. So this morning we're looking today in my farm. We're looking at uh, poultry farm management. This is our farm here in Abuja, Nigeria, where we have these layers. I said in almost all my videos, in my sessions, in my seminars, in my speaking engagement, that structure is one thing in poultry farming. Stocking is another thing in poultry farming. The operations is the main thing in your poultry farm. But people are always carried in. I want to buy a battery cage. I want to build a pen. I want to <clears throat> stock my bed with 10,000 capacity, 50,000 capacity. Is good, bravo, but see, without your operations, it's of no use. Without your operations, you see now what I'm doing this morning here. Every morning, <coughs> I take pure stock record of, we balance our previous book of the form of the day before. In the sense that everything, come let me show you something now. Today is um, Saturday, we all we did here. I will explain to you now, like here, please, we have two wings here. In this wing, let me show you, sir. We have, um, bring, let me show you. Yeah, we have Saturday. The cell, the, the eggs, the layers in one cell laid 11 eggs. B, 12 and 15 eggs. Let me show you, let me show you practically here. So, the sense of this data is to enable you understand the production in your farm. Don't just go around picking eggs. No, you must be careful in doing it. Like here, this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. So what we did now, let me show you them now. What we did here now is that, if you see, today is Saturday. This is A. So, meaning, in this place here, we pick 11 crates. Let me show you on that one here. Here also, this is B. In this B here, meaning we picked 15 crates of eggs. From this B, just like that, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, down to Z. So, the essence of this is that data is very important in your poultry farm. Data, 
is very important without data you don't even know if your farm is doing well you don't or you just know you have beds and cash flow does not equal does not equal growth in your business the fact you are buying and selling transacting is not um don't think your business is growing you need to measure your risk you need to calculate what is the average eggs you produce in the day in a week in an hour in the month this will now enable you to determine if truly your business is growing and you must understand that one thing about poultry farming is that in management the hygiene of your poultry farm is very important it's very important you can see us now let me show you something now come see our own place like you see is i made it mandatory and i told my staff you must mop this place daily you must mop daily you can see how clean it is here let me show you something now <clears throat> you can see how clean this whole poultry farm is now the essence of this is that your bed your environment matters a lot you must keep it there are some poultry farms that they say smell stink ours does not smell why because we change our dust every three three days let me show you here like now we feed them this morning and what you must learn to do is to enable you my minimize feed you must learn to do it let's call it rubbing this rubbing because you know when this bed eats at times they don't know because they are not on the ground they cannot scatter you know you see chicken scattering to get this thing so what you don't do is that you call this you take your three finger or two you do this call rubbing if you see something now when you do this you are making them come out to eat you're making them come out so you could see now and once you do this you see them bringing out their steak thinking that food has come okay see, show them again you can see what happened now currently right now they are already coming out again to start eating take it down 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 you can see so once you do this rubbing it enables them eat better come see you do it this way like this so these are things that you need to learn in poultry management you need to understand these two things in your poultry in your poultry farm so with this you are, you are able to and you can see now you take it back you can see see what i just did you see the effect of what i just did now they are coming out again to eat they look at this side now you see that these ones are not eating right now because to them meal is uh, the meal is gone but see something again now. you do the same rubbing here too this keep them their activity so you don't just feed your beds and leave them there no you feed them and ensure that they eat ensure that they eat because at times not all the bears eat at the same time so what do you now realize that some are eating and some are not eating so what do you do to enable them eat is to ensure you do this rubbing for them because this will enable them eat well i said this will enable them do what eat well because you could see you do it this way like this like this so this is part of your poultry management you need to know how to do you could see just take it back see what is happening you could see these are things you need to know as a poultry farmer i know some persons know it but for you coming into poultry farm newly you need to understand that this rubbing is if you see the way they are eating right now so once you must ensure wool you see this part of the loss in poultry farming we just lost this bed things like this are inevitable <laughs> in poultry farm so what happened this bed we bought this bed 2250 plus transportation after eating our bed our feed you lay some egg and it's gone you see so so these are the things that at times you see in poultry farm that they don't tell you the game they tell you poultry farm is good is good but so but once in a while you, you tend to see this kind of things so what happens when you see this kind of things that is to say you must learn to monitor your beds monitor your beds now we don't know why this is dead i believe that some other things but i'll show it to my vet doctor to show this thing so you must learn to monitor your bed you see the way you have uh, maybe if you, you are married you have a baby i like have a daughter you must monitor your bed check them don't just put them in the cage or no 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 you must monitor them it's very important see the one that are not eating see the one that are sick know what to do trying to drop this one here so again this feed now 
This feed is 5,800. And we feed them with minimum three bags in a day. Three bags a day. So, like here now, the essence of feeding them with that bath is for them to hit maximum productivity. These are the things you need to understand in your poultry farming. Poultry farming, if you really want to make it well in poultry farming, you must pay attention to details. Remember, I've talked about your record keeping. I've talked about paying key attention, monitoring, monitor the activities of the bed. And the third one I'm talking about will now be ensuring that their medication is well followed. If you see our own water now, this we're putting multivitamin in this for them. After the multivitamin, we're going to give we will start giving them antibiotic. This is to enable them fight any toxic things in their system. Why yes, I have this litter? Like here you could see straight down. Come let me show them sorry. straight down here. Everything pour down from here and go here. This is money. This is money. I told you this is money. So what we're not doing is this that I don't know we pack this and sell as fertilizer to the people that come to buy. A bag here in Nigeria goes as far as 1005. The one that is really really dry to sell at least 1516. Imagine you selling close to about um 60 bag that is extra cash from your poultry farm. They're all talking about poultry management. I'm talking about other stream of income now. Like this now go. We change this in every three, every three to four days, three to four days, but ideally it's three days so that you don't contaminate the beds here. All this waste now, you pack it there to another piece and dry it up here. But that's why you see, you see our floor, very neat, very neat. The smell is not there. And one thing you must pay attention to again, let me show you. You must pay attention to this, this. When I talk about monitoring, I was talking about you checking their their uh, waste there are some of them have some of them it's true their waste you can see those that have disease those that are having a uh, um infection already but like us like we see there is nothing like green and yellow green and yellow represent stress in them green and yellow <coughs> represent malnutrition in them green and yellow um well, like, let me call it my green and yellow sheets uh -huh. Green and yellow sheets. <laughs> so I'm just trying to just make <coughs> demystify that thing of poultry farming is this, is that. No. Love it. Care for it. Monitor it. Give medication and you smile to the bank. So this is what we check here. So let me show you something here again. So like here now. If you see that you need to I said monitoring. See something about our bears now. If you see this now. See, once you need to know, to know if the bears are eating, you touch here. Now, this guy is not eating. Maybe he and his girlfriend are quarreling. Nobody knows. So, <laughs> but I'm just trying to make you have fun when you're learning. Now, if you see, the weight is very light. Very, very light. So, if now, monitoring is not being taken on this, we don't, I don't observe this bear, you realize that the bear will just die like that and you think something will happen. So, what I would do now is that I would keep this one here now keep it separately because we need to take it to an isolation actually the isolation in your farm you need to have an isolation center where you put these things i'm not talking about covid 19 isolation center <laughs> like i'm just trying to make you i don't want to look like this video is so serious like my former video but you need to isolate them monitor them take care of them there if we now move them to this other side so let me drop this one here no, this is a colleague that is dead. So these are part of the loss you get in poultry farm. But I'll tell you, poultry farming is good, it's good, it's good. Yes, yes, it's good. So maybe now two things have happened to this bear is not eating. Maybe he's not used to eating in the deep in that place. In Adekpako. Adekpako in my language in Nigeria means you know he does not have never done table food. You have to serve me on the floor, let me eat and satisfy. We show these the brothers and the sisters. This ones are the and your brother, the love eating. So, in the sense that when you are monitoring your bed, some of them might not be able to eat from this place. What happened? They start getting starvation. They start getting losing weight and sickness start coming in. So you could see now the same bed in the farm. Show them again. The same bed that could not eat. You see, it's getting energy. So you must. This is why I talk about monitoring in your farm is very important very important you can see now 
it beginning to eat now. So you need to go around and see this thing. Come see something again now, like here now. Oh, I'm trying to do something. Like here, I want you to take this now out. Good. You see? You, oh, sorry, you cannot see it. You can see there's a lot of food here. See, see, meaning it's eating. This is what I call monitoring. It's not just dropping this bed and say I'm a farm owner. No, this whole thing matters a lot. So I drop that bed. You could see now the bed is eating right now. So these are the things that you need to ensure you monitor your beds. So let's come, let's go around again. So I've talked about this. You can see once you see all these beds doing, you need to check them, you need to pay attention to them. You come down again. Remember this morning. You've gotten one lost already. One is sick. You go around like this again. You monitor these bears every time. You look at them. How are they sharing? And you could see this guy now. Too much food here. You could see how he is swollen. Those kind of things again. And you must check your lighting system. There must be cross ventilation in your farm. Let me show them again. There should be cross ventilation. You see the way our roof is. We take it again. There should be a proper cross ventilation. There should be an one thing you must learn to do in your farm, in your poultry management is, you need to rat-proof the area. R-O-A-T. P-R-O-O-S. Rat-proof. Now, you're wondering what is rat-proof. You know, one thing that transfers disease in farms is rats. 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 Now, those rats come to your farm to actually eat this food. This is where they come from. Now, but fortunately, those rats do not have vaccine towards and maybe uh, immune to disease. So the disease that they're taking from the bush where they're looking for food from that farm, because they are hustling, they want to enlarge their feeding system. They feel like eating something tush, something nice, something yeah, yeah, something nice, right? <laughs> so I'm just trying to make this video very interesting for you. What they do, they'll come here from the roof. Climb here, bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, enter here, eat from me as you are eating. You are putting disease here. And this is your new stone bed that is sleeping. You wake up in the morning and stretch. Ah, thank God for a new day. They start eating from here. What are they eating? They are eating disease. This guy eats it. He gives to this guy, he gives to that guy, he gives to the other guy, and your farm is messed up. So, what do you do to rat prove your farm? This is what you need to do. You must ensure that. You seal everywhere in your farm. Like our farm now is all seed. All seed. All seed. All seed. We use nets to cover this aspect. We use nets. Round the whole pen. Come, let's show you something now. Round the whole pen. We rat proof everywhere. It's an intentional act. So that's why in poultry farming, money in poultry management farming or management farming poultry, any grammar. They are speaking yes. Before you understand what I'm trying to explain to you, you must rat prove your farm. You see this way down. If not, rat will bring disease into your farm. And when they bring disease into your farm, at that time it will be disastrous for you. It will be disastrous for you. It, you might not find it very easy, funny. Let me show you something again. At that level, you can see one thing our pen now. You take it down here. You see how beautiful it is. Free from every form of odor. Free from every form of smell because of poultry management maintainer. These are the things that I do, I teach in my, in my poultry class just to enable poultry owners to understand, understand what it is. And also, in your farm also, don't put your drugs or what you give to your beds under the sun. It affects them. So that's why you see what we did now. These are the syringe we use. <coughs> Whatever you are doing, don't just never ever in your poultry farm pour things like this into their drinking water. It's wrong. Always ask the vet doctor how many syringe, how many CL will I use from here and put in their own. But most people just take this thing and because they are experts, they are professional, they have gauging in their head. But you know, we that I'll put it now. We hustle this on you. Nobody dash us. Government not give us. Now hustle, we hustle. Gather around. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, one million, four million, twenty million. So build this kind of thing. So what do we now do? We are very conscious to details. These are drugs. So because they are drugs, 
There are measurements you need to use to get what you are looking for. You don't assume. Say like maybe you are sick. You are taking different kind of drugs all in the name of you are sick. No. Rather, this is why you need a syringe. Measure it and put here. Then when you come here again, these are the other areas here. Then let me show you something here. These are the other side of the pen. This is my very this is my colleague Martin. He's our farm uh, guy. He's really doing a wonderful work in what we are doing. Thank you very much, Martins. So if you come here again, let me show you something. Then yeah, this is the other side of the pen. Also. This is the side of this is also of our pen. You know, meaning we have so what we did here is that the labeling still goes round. Like here at this I sixteen. I want I I three four. We have I one I two I three. This this is this to what? Twenty six. This is to what? Thirty. This is thirty. So with this we can get effective data collections. Remember I told you in the beginning that data collection is very important. Part of the rat proving we are doing is part of what this man is helping us to do. We are trying to block everywhere here so that rats cannot come inside. Rats cannot come inside because what rat can cost you in your farm is bigger than what you can think of. There are some rats that have this longer mouth, they carry more disease. So, hold again, we're talking about your lighting. If you can put generator, if you have power supply, if you have a uh, solar, you can use those ones. And also, up here, there must be a good ventilation system. Like, okay, let me, I'll have to take you outside so you can easily see what I'm. You could see, I don't know if you can see some. Uh, light, um, um, light coming in from there is what we build our pen for proper ventilation. Meaning, because in heat time, the atmosphere is hot, and in most cases, the beds need good air to come inside. So, I talked about monitoring air on. What else again do I know? What else again? I'm not talked about. Let me tell you a recap. One, I talked about data collection. And management. Two, I talked about monitoring. Three, I have talked about rat proving your farm. Four, I have talked about um, your marketing strategy. See, in poultry farming, you don't assume that people will always. Let me see some sorry. You don't assume that people would always, always come and buy. Okay, the guy, the guy, maybe the guy went to nightclub. He's having some hangover. That's why he's sleeping by this time. So you don't assume that. Uh, People will always come and buy. Run digital marketing. Create a Facebook page. Create an Instagram account. Our Instagram handle is Smart Planet Farms. Come and check us out there. Our Facebook page is Smart Planet Farms. Run ad. Run ad. See, people people need money. They want to, see, you must use money to get more money. You must use money to create value that will attract more inputs. Huh? So, in our place, we run farm, we run um, digital marketing in our site. So, this is basically our main pen here. Our pen. And here also, I've talked about our water system here. This is our water. That tank up there is dedicated for this pen. It's directly from the borehole. So, for no reason, water, because these beds, they consume a lot of water. So, the way we contact it now is that it comes from here. From here straight here and it's automatic we did in the sense that as water is coming it gets to some level it stops come please take it up let's see here it gets to some level it stops you can see from here it has come here and once it gets to some level the water begins to drop um so let me ask martins 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 you open this place is it flowing Open it, please. Okay, you see now. Here is where we side here up here. Okay, so you could see this water system is part of everything. You must understand how to do. Good. Here we go. Boom. It comes from here, like this. You see. You can see it's pouring in already. Can can you see it there? It's pouring. You see our water system. So that is how the water system flows from here. It goes straight down also to that place. So the essence of this place in your farm, you must have a dedicated tank for your water system. This is part of the poultry management I'm talking about. 
Then let me close here because we have to still give. Then this board here, what do we do with this board? It's for mainly our write up. We like see something we train. You must train your staff. Don't just come and start shouting. Hey, you do this. Hey, you do this. Hey, you do that. No. If you are the owner of the farm, go and learn. Go and take time and read. Knowledge is power. But the correct application of knowledge gives power. Don't put it. Knowledge alone is not power. The correct application of the knowledge of golfing in your poultry farm, applying it rightly is what gives you power. So yeah, I teach them a lot. I train them in my farm because you must train your staff. These are our board we use. Then this is our water purifier. This enables us to purify or flicker the dead from our bowl. Even though we use bowl, we still use this one here. So let me take you outside so you can see what I was telling you. So I'll take this guy out. These are the laws you ensure in poultry farm at times. These are the bars we give them. And also, what you need to do again in your poultry farm, ensure you don't take what you use. These shoes don't do not leave our farm. We don't allow this shoe leave inside this pen. So what I will do now, because I'm going out now, because I'm going out, what I do, I always put it's a it's a rule. This must not leave this pen. If not, this this will bring about disease transfer in your farm because we have our layer pen, we have our um, brother's pen, we have our isolation center. These are things that brings a bad worth at the end of the day, disease transfer. So I'm going to pull this guy here because I'm done here and I'm pulling this off right now. He's gone. Why I will take this guy to what? I told you again to the isolation center. This to the mortuary, this to the isolation center. Um, the undertaker will do the need food to this guy, while the veterinary doctor will do the need food to keep this guy alive. And as I said for ensure the slippers you use, yeah. So this one is called deep litter. So what we we'll do before you come to our farm, inside this place, you put your leg here. This is a disinfected water. You put Isa here. After doing this, before you are qualified to step your leg here and wear that shoe. Then we'll do this, we bring it here. Then this one we'll do it here. So this is our farm at foot here. This is our farm view. This is how we did it. So the time of planting this in the farm, you could be wondering like why this fine horticulture is just to enable give them proper um, um transfer of oxygen and carbon dioxide. I don't know if that grammar is correct, but sure you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, like you see, this on that bed we lost yesterday. We've lost two beds. We lost one yesterday, we lost one today. So you can't ask him why. So these are things you experience in poultry farming. So if you look here now, let me show you what I was showing outside, inside the pen. Let me show you something. Up here, that is for the ventilation for the farm. This enables proper ventilation. You can see that cap on top of the roof is what I was showing you inside earlier on today and this. So we plant all this flower just to enable the farm area good. And uh, we have a cat. Show them, show them our pussy pussy. The, 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 the cat is angry. So this cat, why would you have this cat? This cat is under security for rats. So in your farm, you need to get a cat if possible. Why would you take this guy here? Come and show you the isolation center here. So this is our own isolation center. So what do you do now? Because some of those bears cannot eat properly well in the cage. So what do we do? We now have this isolation center where we bring sick beds. This is purely an isolation center for all our sick layers. Why do we bring them here? So that at the end of the day, you can monitor them here. Some cannot eat because they are sick. They cannot be eating inside. They can. They cannot be eating inside that um, deep uh, inside the battery cage. You bring them here. You monitor them. You can see now. These ones were brought here before now. Some of them, they were not active when we brought them newly. They were not active. They were sick. They were lazy. They could not eat. So we bring them to this isolation center. Take care of them here. They eat. And we monitor them before taking them back to the main pen. So these are things you need to understand your poultry management. Very important. Let me show you that side as we proceed. So then, um, sorry. Let me, so let me show you our stuff. And one thing about poultry management, Time size is very important. You must be able to strategize in your time. Monitor the market. Now, this is December time. Feed will shoot up. Prices will go up. 
and if you cannot monitor the market very well and the price goes off it affects your profit so what do you do if you have enough money you stock let me show you something let me open the window here before we go inside if you have enough money what do you do okay it's locked in there <clears throat> let me show you here if you have enough money you stock what do i mean by stock you ensure you stock your farm boom is what we did so what we've done is that we bought all these feeds like i like playing when i'm doing my videos though it's not just that serious 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 type so we bought all this feed this for our bo um, boilers this for our layers now this feed we take our this feed is to take our bed for not in january what we just did now we close that gap if for market filtration price because every time you go to buy now we bought this bag five thousand eight hundred maybe by next week it become six thousand that 200 naira margin has affected your your bed so what do you do so when your competitors are selling let's say a crate of egg at um let me say one thousand seven to now game them in the game or to not make them put to present them you start selling six thousand one thousand six fifty why do you have that power to control the price in your in your in your market space in your market share because your feed you are having <clears throat> the feed you are having is in old price so this is why the this is why what you gain when you stock your feed but remember they have expiring days so don't go and buy oh because abraham said i should buy more you want to buy one hundred thousand bags no please after maximum span of this is three months so two three months they are gone so please be careful that's why you, we've done this now yeah and this is our store they will keep almost everything we have here in our store we keep things here because and also in your store you need to arrange things properly well properly well because if not your staff will start uh -huh, uh -huh. so this is our scale we use this scale for for winning our bed when it's time to sell our yes. use this one so these are like a small pharmacy these are drugs these are drugs for our pay so you must some drugs that are not um that the fine date is not close you can buy them also and yeah this is what we have here you need to have this in your farm we use this one to disinfect all our farms let's say once we finish selling our layers our boilers we use one to do disinfect that farm so these are things you need to understand in your work poultry farm management remember we talked about poultry farm management despite for layers then here is our farm here over there we have our fish pond which we are yet to stock we're stocking this fish pond very soon then this is our generator house here this light is very important it should be standby and also this is our solar this generator of solar because here light is something that is terrible so we will install this solar and you see it comes to this charge let me show you something now. so this solar charges from night in the evening what we do is at daytime we switch off the light daytime we switch off the light and what do we, uh, we switch off the generator switch off everything because we use the sunlight then you can see the way it's charging take it close i don't know if you can see the way you see it's charging it's entering it's charging it's charging it's charging so from this one now we all generate up from 7 p.m in the evening to 10 p.m in the night then from 10 p.m to 6 a.m the, the solar take over this is our bag of heat this charcoal is for cheating we need to create heat for our water so basically these are new plan of the building and let me show you our water system again you should be able to do the proper water system for your farm very important very very important very important uh, okay, let me show you our upper one why do we have to do this to the At the end of the day, um, come see. Yeah, yeah. So this aqua is for slaughtering. We are going to frozen food. So when you when you have boilers that have issues, what do you just do? You cut their neck off. You bring them here. You put them here. Wash them, treat them. Wash them here. You bring them here. Full them sell as full chicken so but please don't sell dead bed to people karma is real if your bed head is bad you can kill them and slaughter them and sell them 
or please don't serve dead bed for people in the name of frozen food do if you if you know you have a disease that can affect human don't say those bed hmm? i'm just being sincere yeah. some, some of you like money because of the investment you only want to do all these things and get back to the let me just keep it let me just show you these are boilers these are boilers and if you can see it we are not going inside right now so i'll do a video on this boiler very soon teach you how to do your boiler market how to run your boiler the get the right bed especially your water system in my next video we'll be hearing more about these boilers here and um i'll be to the rack right now i'm sure everything about fat so we talk about coaching money a recap we talk about monitoring data collection medication we're talking about um not again medication we've talked about and buying in stock so that we control the market price of the competitors and gain more market share market share i'm not a professional i'm a business coach market share means your market reach what are the people that how many loyal customers you have and finally let me show you one last thing your water system is very important to your poultry farm Bam. let me show you that it comes forward with the water system so why i did this in my farm is that these are things you need to put in place to enable you to have balance in your poultry farm if not you're going under pressure so i can agree so everywhere we put we put we put water everywhere this is the important to do a lot of things in our farm here and here these are water systems this tank this one thousand for this this ten thousand this one go for our fish hatchery this one here show them again you can come closer sir this one here this one thousand five we take care of the staff house and uh, the management quarter this one thousand here take care of the boilers and the uh, the boilers and the what is this again called the quarantine center then what again then why that 1000 liter inside the pen is really solely for that thing so the water system is very important very important in your poultry farm so i've been with this i'm not going to confuse you i've been able to show you proper poultry management system thank you very much for subscribing to our channel if you are new in this channel please hit the subscribe button if you've gotten value share this and churn it out in this video i believe two video year one year one year the one year is talking about how to set up a poultry farm why are you talking about your business modern canvas thank you very much i appreciate you and i love you so very much see you in is it poultry ever see you in the other side of the income